Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can achieve the floater geometry trick using uh, run flow and final cutter. So the geo uh, the floater geometry trick is a way to uh, show two meshes. One is on top of each other and that mesh will look like it's a part of the other mesh underneath. So it's a great way of creating panel cuts without actually um, editing or modifying the underlying topology of the work mesh or the active mesh you are, or the active design mesh you are working on. So for example, our work mesh is this cube, which I subdivided a couple of times. And we're going to try it with uh, random panels first. So with random panels, you can use any of the, um, uh, actually there's a new op preset. There we go. Which, what is this? Floater mesh inner. Oh. So I think there's <laughs> there's actually already a preset for that. And I think I have updated the store with this kind of preset. But if you want to uh, just use any of the presets from the start. So for example, um, this one here. And we're going to set the event offset to on. It's set to, by default, it's set to off to avoid the geometry spikes on Angular models. But you can set it on to make the uh, depth or the extrusions straighter. Okay, so with this, you need to go to the clear face property and set this to inner. So what this does is deletes the upper faces of the panel islands and it will only retain the faces from the sides or the faces of the panel cuts themselves. And then you can control their uh, dimensions or size using the thickness. And we have here the depth. So in order to avoid randomizing the depth, you can toggle on the chain icon here and it will create a uniform value to affect their height or depth. Okay. So I think that's a bit too high. So F9 and then depth set it like this and then go to auxiliary and toggle on floater mesh what this will do is in the object properties in the uh, uh, visibility um, by the way this is going to work only for cycles so in the cycles ray visibility it will toggle off diffuse glossy transmission volume scatter and shadow and only leave the camera. So if we select this, you can see that they've been turned on, uh, off, I mean. And when we render this, that geometry is gonna look like it's a part of the mesh. Well, um, at most of the angles anyway, but if you go close up and view it like this, it's going to betray its or expose our trick but if you're going to render it for something at this distance you know that uh, the viewer can't really see or the trick okay so if we turn this on you can see that this geometry is clearly a separate object but turning this off so it means that the panel cut object that we have here no longer contributes the diffuse glossy transmission volume scatter and shadow to the scene or to other objects. And to take this further, we can actually uh, make the back faces uh, transparent. So in the material that you're using, shader, uh, mix shader, and then uh, shader transparent and then we're going to create the geometry or add the geometry uh, node 
and set this to back facing. So that kind of, um, it made the back faces transparent, but uh, this is not, this side here, it's not transparent. So that's what you see uh, if we turn this on. But it's it just uh, amplifies the trick for a lot more angles. Okay, so you can do this with um, geometry that or the, your design that uh, you don't want the topology to be affected. Then, if you don't want it anymore, anymore you can just delete it. And then reapply it anytime that you want. So as you can see in this, uh, in the sides, it's quite obvious, but right here. But at a certain distance, it doesn't really look that uh, our trick is not really that exposed. Okay, so with panel cutter, you need to do this using the inset. Or panel cut you need to do this using the inset type because bevel is destructive inset is non-destructive it will create another mesh uh, that will be the panel cut detail much like random flow so we have used inset for that but for inset to work we need uh, to um, mark sharp the edges that needs to be that's going to be the uh, panel detail. Okay, so for example, this face is here, and then curl E, mark sharp, and then you need to select the faces that encompass or, uh, yeah, surrounds the faces that are other edges that are marked sharp, and then W, panel cut, and then inset. There we go. So initially, Okay, I'm going to panel cut, restore operator defaults. Okay. So this is the operator default, and you can you can see, um, we need to. There's no preset her here, and you need to actually adjust the um <clears throat> the settings here to actually get the ones that um we we got from the random panels but there's a hidden shortcut key to achieve uh those settings and if you hover over the operator with the tooltip on you can see the great paneling details from mark sharp edges and then at the end you can see the text saying control click to use floater preset so when you have when the mouse cursor is in the operator you need to press control and then right click and then click on the inset and as you can see here uh, we have the outer selected first And you can switch it to inner to create the result we get from the random panels. And it does the same thing. It creates this geometry and turns off the uh, the ray visibility uh, except for the camera. They're sharp, and you also have the mark sharp panel cut. You have the outer as well, and this is in reverse. Uh, it keeps the faces uh, that are on top of the final elements, but in this case, it is pushed towards the mesh, so it's kind of um, like a debossed detail or uh, embossed detail. I mean. And this is what it looks like. Uh, 
and you can use this trick to this kind of geometry final cut inset and we have the margin here we can bevel this and adjust the segment and when we render you can see that it looks like um, an indentation on the uh, work mesh surface but this is a separate geometry so it's kind of like normal detail but uh, we're using real geometry instead of bothering with maps and textures and uvs um, you can just for example with creative flow just draw stuff and then final cut inset it's probably the margin yes it's the margin and then the bevel it's too much for the size of the objects and then we can render and we have this detail here and then you can proceed to do something like this and then just uh, delete the uh, drawn lines that you did to the work motion there you go so this is the uh, floater geometry trick using uh, random panels and panel cutter both are in the stores panel cutter is a separate add-on and is designed was designed from random panels to create panel cut details manually without randomization okay so uh this is it for this video and i hope you found this useful and let me see uh how you can use this and post it in the discord and you can find the discord link here you search info and random flow join the discord community just click this and you can join the uh discord uh community which has which was created specifically specific, uh, specifically to address questions about the add-ons okay so that's it uh subscribe like comment and share if you have any questions just the comment section below and um thank you for watching and you have a nice day